Any sort of goal achieved never ever came without challenges. And there's going to be moments where you're going to want to give up. The fulfillment of the finish is, is what you get. JP Dermany, always lovely to connect with you. How are you, my friend? And uh, I think you've got some interesting news for us. You should be in Cape Town right now, but you are not in Cape Town. Where are you and why? How we can? Always a pleasure, my friend. Uh, well, where am I? I'm in Abu Dhabi at the moment. Can you believe it? I got appointed as a strategic consultant to the Proteas for the up-and-coming T20 World Cup. So... That is why I'm here. I am super excited. I mean, this is the last thing that I could have thought of. You know, if you had asked me three weeks ago, where would you be? I'd be saying I'd be training for this marathon that I've committed to. But lo and behold, things have changed and we have to adapt to change. So that is why I'm in Abu Dhabi. Quite ironic that the, the T20 World Cup happens to start on the same day too. But where does that leave the marathon dream? Um, is it over? Are you, are you still going to continue? Do you still want to get this under the belt? Well, if you think of the context of sportsmen, we always want to fulfill our goals. We, we get thrown curveballs, uh, challenges come our way. And even though I might not be in a position to run the Cape Town Marathon, we, I'm still committed. Uh, you know, the training has been there. I've committed so hard to this training program. Uh, so I'm going to have to find a way uh, over the next couple of months to fulfill the goal of running a marathon. Now, Nalene Conrad might be small in stature, but I'm sure you were absolutely petrified when you had to break the news to her, your coach. Um, <laughs> have you guys got a game plan? Um, what are you going to be doing? Are you just going to keep training? Um, when is the hopeful date that you can perhaps attempt this marathon at a, at a later stage? The difficulty with where I sit at the moment is tough to predict an actual date. The, the game plan for now is to keep training as best as I can. Uh, obviously, the circumstances that I'm going to have to be training under will will be a little bit challenging, but I'm going to have to find a way. And once the, the T20 World Cup finishes, I'm going to have to then look at the schedule, what's coming up from a coaching perspective as well, because I've got to be mindful of those roles that I'm playing. Uh, so we're probably going to be looking in the next three to four months, where can we find an actual date in the calendar, an actual race? Uh, so that's kind of the game plan right now. James, yeah. like your training journey up until now, um, what has been your longest run that you've done? 30 kilometers has been the longest up until this point. And that was hard in itself because that was probably in the early stages of the training block. So just trying to get mileage in the legs. And obviously you couple that with uh, speed work and heel training and various types of, of training that, that Nolene has, has put in the program. You're obviously a huge fan of the Adios Adi Zero Pro. When we were talking the other day, you told me that you've done a lot, a lot of your work in the Boston, the Boston 10, which is a slightly yeah. different Boston to the previous uh, shoes coming out of Adidas. What have you enjoyed about that uh, in terms of using that as a training shoe? Well, first and foremost, the, the comfortability be, uh, about it. And, uh, you know, in terms of the technology, you think about the carbon fiber that's in, in the sole. And, and that has really helped in terms of the balance, but also... Uh, you know, I like to tell people it feels almost like you're running with some springs in your uh, in your soles and in your shoes. Um, so I've I've certainly enjoyed those those aspects of it. And James, like the motivations there, hey, there's no way you backing down from this challenge. You want to get this marathon under the belt. This is a goal that I've always wanted to fulfill. I must be honest. You know, one of the main reasons why I wanted to fulfill this, I look back, maybe in 15 years into into my career. The, the natural ability I had as a runner was not necessarily there. I'm talking long distance and just my, my general fitness outlook. It really needed to change for me to be consistent in my career. But then I look at post cricket and what was going to be that something that was going to allow me to fulfill the need to be active was always going to be running. Uh, long distance running in particular because there's, there's a huge... A uh, challenging element to that because it takes your time. Uh, it reminds me a bit of test cricket and the hard, tough uh, mentality that you needed for that. So it was always going to be a good challenge for me. And I'm 100% committed to the goal of, of running a marathon. Yeah. That's great to hear. Japes, listen, thanks for your time. Let me not keep you from the training field or your, your air conditioned gym over there. But uh, best <laughs> of luck for the next few weeks. No, awesome, man. Thanks, Howie. Thanks, Japes. Take care.